good morning guys well we're back out here and back at it again on the build site i actually took this weekend off to get all of my deer feeders and deer stands and all of that set up because it's a little late in the season and i've been busy on all of this and haven't got a chance to get set up to hunt yet and the season is about halfway over and i need to process at least one deer this year so we got that done took a break but now we're going to get back here on the shower and finish this up we're going to go ahead and come in here and go ahead and get our slope and put our dry pack in i've never done this before but i have watched a lot of videos the towel coach is the one that i've gotten most of my information from i like the way he teaches it seems to be a real good channel so if y'all haven't checked that out and you're doing something like this go check it out i'll put his link right there very informative a lot of good information all right enough talking let's get at it guys all right guys it's somewhat of a tight spot here so the camera it's going to be a little tricky we're going to go ahead and pull this up that we got to protect the drain so no concrete got in here whenever we poured probably shouldn't have used weatherproofing this junk is sticky but we'll get it up note to self do not use weatherproofing to cover your drain it's a pain to get off all right let's get this piece on here secured down this is plastic you don't have to tighten it that much just snug it up Unfortunately, I did get this drain a little bit crooked, which is a big no-no. It's going to cause some problems with me on this next step, but I should be able to fix it. It's not too bad off, but it is definitely not the way that I wanted it. All right, I'm going to try to go as low as possible. Now, I'm going to take my level that I got here. I also have a two-footer. And I'm going to go from here to the wall and get me a level mark all the way around in different spots. And then I'm going to raise it up. I'm looking for a quarter-inch drop on a foot. So... It's probably about two foot that way, so it'll be about a half inch drop I'm looking for here. It's about a foot here, so I'll be looking for a quarter. And it's about two foot on the back side, so I'll be looking for about a half inch drop there as well. So let's go ahead and get our lines put in place, and we'll go from there. My slope lines all the way around the bottom one is the level line and the second one on the highest is about all about the slope huh, I messed up right there a little bit had to mark my line out but I got it all the way around I'm gonna have to add one more two by four across the entrance right here a little bit because my dry pack is going to go up above that one just a little bit. I want a good base to be able to get a nice line right there. First step we got to do is do a little slurry with some thin set, which I have on the bottom right there, just to put down with my trowel right here. And that'll make the dry pack a heave to the concrete a little bit better. And also mix up some dry pack. I got my mud bed mix right here. And I'm going to use a wheelbarrow to mix it up with. And I'm going to start in this corner right here and work my way out of the shower. We'll see how it goes. I'm a little nervous about this. Got to get this slope right. If not, you'll have water pulling up in the corners and stuff, and that is no bueno. Let's get some mud mixing. Ugh. 
Now, I don't need a ton of this thin set right here, and I'm gonna mix it very, very runny. Now, I'm just gonna take my trowel and mix it up a little bit because I don't have a mixer. Very runny. All right, we're gonna let that set for a minute and we're gonna go ahead and mix up our dry bed mud here. All right, it's saying that you mix this right here four to one. We're gonna start with one full bag and I'm gonna add the water in slowly because you want this to be pretty dry. with just two of these and start mixing. see how to actually lay down put a paper towel in the drain keep anything from getting there we want to make sure that we don't get nothing in these little weep holes right here that way that will be able to weep in there and drain all right let's get our slurry coat down and see what happens I actually could have did this a little bit right here. Definitely should have made this a lot better. That's a little better. I wished I had a wooden trowel, but I do not. So I'm gonna work with this. Get it all in the corners. Get it somewhat close before I do any packing.
a lot harder than it looks on video though i'll tell you that especially in a dark area it's hard to see that slope i'll check it with the level here in a minute i'm gonna go ahead and mix up some more dry mud <sighs> i hope i have enough it did not go as far as i hoped it would That's a little better it's a little bit drier than the last one should have allowed me to work it a little bit better All right, guys, I got it. And I think it turned out pretty good. It's definitely not perfect by no means, but one thing that I do know for a fact is I got all around the wall sloping towards the drain. It might not be exactly a quarter of an inch on a foot, but some places is probably a little more and some is right there at it. But it's definitely all sloping towards the drain. And what I will do is when I lay the tile and the thin set there, I'll try to make up any spots that's off just a little bit with the thin set when I do the tile. But all in all, for my first one, I don't think it turned out too bad. Be easy on the comments, guys. I've never done this before. But you can't be scared to get with it. You just got to give it a shot. Let me show you what it turned out like. As you see, I added the second board there to be able to bring it up. And I don't know how well you'll be able to see it with this lighting. But it turned out pretty good, I think. I definitely got a good slope all the way around. And my initial line was a little bit high because I had the drain up too high. So I had to account for that as well. But once it all dries tomorrow and I can actually get on it, I'm going to take my level, double check it real good, and kind of put some marks on the walls where I kind of need to add a little bit more thin set or a little bit less here and there. <sighs> But man, this has been a long process. This is a big old shower. This is a huge shower for my first shower ever that I built from the ground up. I'm happy with it. I'm learning a ton and I'm glad I can bring you guys along. Ah, we are getting close to 30,000 subscribers, guys. We're only 2,000 away. So if you have not subscribed yet to the channel, make sure you subscribe. We do all kinds of cool stuff here on Come On Mountain. And subscribing, hitting the like button, and the notification bell definitely helps me out a ton and allows me to make these type of videos. Well, good morning and welcome back to the mountain. It is very gloomy and rainy out here on Come On Mountain, which is trying to slow up the dry times on things just a little bit. But hey, we're going to keep on pushing through and try to keep it going and make it happen. As y'all seen on the last video, we got most of the hardy backer up as high as I need to as far as waterproofing goes. And we got the base poured and also the dry pack put on with the slope. Turned out pretty good. As you can see, it's still a little dark. It's still needing a little bit of dry time. We're going to go ahead and take some mesh and go ahead and seal these corners and the seams with some thin set and go ahead and get all of this sealed off down here at the floor, all the seams. That way it can start drying. So when this base is 100% cured, we can get the liquid membrane waterproofing on the shower to waterproof the whole shower surround area. Then we're gonna go ahead and get the tile set and also get it grouted. That way everything is done that actually needs to be dried. 
After that, we will follow, go ahead and put the corrugated metal on all the walls and start doing more of the detailed stuff like installing fixtures and stuff like that. This video is gonna be all about getting it waterproofed. That way we can move on to the fun step, which is putting the sexy on it. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and mix up some thin set, which I've already got some in the bucket. We just need to add some water, mix it up, and let's start closing in all of these corners and seams. This is not the right tool for the job, but I don't think I have a putty knife. Alright guys, I got it done. Now that I showed you every way that you shouldn't do it. <laughs> you know, I leave those type of things in these videos because this is DIY. Uh, you're not going to be a professional at every single thing. When you're building a whole house like this, you're going to have your things that you're good at. You're going to have the things that you're not so good at. As long as the end result, you achieve what you set out to do, that's really all that matters. This is not pretty. Like I said, if I wasn't using metal sheets on the side, I would have got the right tool to actually apply this right. Took my time and made it a lot neater, but I'm not putting tile up that's gonna vary like that or anything like that. I'm putting metal sheathing up. So it really doesn't matter as long as I get that mesh on there and get it to bond good so the waterproofing can go on there and seal all the seams at the end of the day that's all that matters as you can see i made a pretty big mess on the floor i scraped it off all level once it dries that'll be fine too the waterproofing is going to cover all of that but that definitely does not look like a professional job because i'm not a professional but i did go ahead and do the corners typically you would put some kind of corner bead here or something like that i just used wire mesh wrapped it around it was a little bit tricky but got it on there because like I said, it's not going to be tile, so it doesn't need the hard edges. The metal is actually going to wrap this, so it doesn't have to have that real stout edge that you would typically do with tile. But I got all the seams done. Like I said, definitely not pretty, but they are seamed. I think it turned out pretty good for what it is. Definitely uh, <laughs> wouldn't do this if somebody was paying me to do it. But I got the supervisor in here. I got the foreman over there wide open. Wanting to check everything out. What do you think? You going to fire me after that job there? I would. <laughs> Hi right, guys, we're going to give this a day or two to dry. Hopefully just a day. That way we can get the liquid waterproof membrane on there. Because I'm sure that's going to take a day or two to dry as well with the way the weather is right now. But as long as we're getting at least one step every day so it has its dry time, we're moving in the right direction.